Hello everybody, welcome to my first pencil tutorial. Um, <clears throat> if you don't know, pencil is a 2D um, keyframe animation software. Uh, I've used it before. Uh, you'll find a video on my channel if you're on if you're on YouTube. Um, and I'm actually doing a little work on YouTube right now. As you can see, I've got a lot of tutorials up, so I want to check them out. <coughs> Excuse me. Had a little bit of a sneeze. It's only a 13 second video, but I'll show you um, what I did real quick. There's no sound to it, but you can see. See, uh, this was done using pencil. I know it looks a little choppy and everything. Uh, and it wasn't just done using pencil, actually. It was done using pencil and Inkscape. <clears throat> uh, and basically all I did was, uh, um, I apologize, what do you call that? Uh, there, each, each frame was a different image that I just exported out of Inkscape uh, one by one. And yes, it did take a very long time to do it that way. Uh, but there's some easier ways to do some more simple 2D animations. Uh, if you don't have pencil yet, but you're looking to get into 2D animation, I would suggest it. Uh, there are better versions of 2D animation software. Um, a lot of them you have to pay for. Uh, there's also like K-Tunes, uh, which I didn't have a good experience with. I never actually even got to really use it. Uh, so, and there's a couple of others uh, that, <clears throat> like for instance, uh, and I, I'm gonna try to do tutorials over this one too. Uh, Create Tune. I haven't used this one yet either because when you download it, it comes with. Uh, a, a, an unlock file or uh, key or whatever and I haven't exactly applied it to the program I've been really busy and I gotta look up how uh, so I haven't used it yet so as soon as I do if it's if it's worth it uh, I, I will do, be doing tutorials over it but I have used pencil before and if you don't have pencil yet uh, and you wanna you wanna get into the software uh, animation uh, you can just like go to Google or Google Chrome you can search in the bar but uh, just download and I'm using Windows 7, so you just type because uh, it's for it's for all platforms uh, or operating systems. So you want to make sure you get the right one. And uh, pencilanimation.org uh, that is as you can see I've visited them. I just put this on on this computer. I have it on my desktop uh, and right there. Download, okay. Uh, and then it's got different options. Uh, Mac OS 10.39, um, Mac OS X uh, 10.4, and this is XP and Vista. But as you can see, uh, and I don't have, yeah, I have it open. Uh, it's working in Windows 7 also, and I haven't noticed any difficulties. However, I haven't worked on any projects yet, but it should work just fine. Um, there's not much difference uh, there. Uh, and then there's also Linux, which I, I believe is it's what it was originally made for, and uh, Arc Linux, uh, which I don't know anything about that. So if you're using uh, that, uh, well, then there you go. Uh, but I'm using Windows, and there's not much difference between the software, but uh, uh, throughout operating systems, uh, it's just, it's the same software. It's just a matter of you know what works on your computer. Okay, so uh, this is a 2D animation software, uh, and I'm using a touchpad right now. I do have a graphic pad, and I might use it in a later tutorial uh, to really kind of like show you more ab about the program uh, easier. But for right now, uh, I'm not going to. Uh, I'm just going to show you the basics uh, in this video. Uh, as you can see, you've got your colors over here, and you've got your brushes and your pencil uh, over here, as well as some other tools. Uh, that, that's a draw tool, which uh, does about the same as a pencil as your pencil tool. Um, they all do about the same as you can tell. Oh, well, no, that one doesn't. That, that is actually paint. And here's your paint, uh, your your sizes and your feathering. Uh, so let's see what we, like, oh, okay, so you don't have the option to feather that, uh, and you don't have the option to feather your pencil either. Um, and so I'm not too sure what the difference between draw and pencil are. Um, and let's see, this is a polyline, which means you can make, I'm sorry, you can make uh, straight lines with it. And, uh, and you double click to uh, get uh, to stop making the line, and it looks like you can actually curve it. I don't know how I did that. There, well, I mean, 
it looks like it's curved on it. I don't know. Uh, and like I said, uh, most of the projects I've done, I've just imported pictures into uh, into pencil. Oh, get off there. Okay, there we go. No, oh, come on. Quit playing with me. Okay. All right, that's annoying. Uh, it, but uh, like I said, I, I've, I've really mostly uh, I've done some animatics in pencil where I just uh, I hooked up my graphic pad, I used the paint, and I just went at it uh, because, as you know, with animatics and, and and my animatics look a lot different than professional animatics because I'm not a professional. Uh, so yeah, uh, but yeah, I would just paint out uh, frame by frame uh, or um, on the storyboard and put them all together and give them to my animator uh, at the time. And uh, we were working on a project. It's on hold right now. Uh, and you'll find a little bit about it on my channel. Uh, and if you if you are an actual animator, you know, and you want to work on a project, uh, get a hold of me because we are looking for an animator. We've got voice actors, and we've got a musician, a really good musician, and we've got uh, a, a, a project animator. Uh, we're just missing uh, some help. Uh, and so yeah, that's what's holding us back. Uh, but we got a really cool project in the works. And it could be a couple of years before it comes out, uh, but uh, and it's all done in Flash. Uh, however, uh, you you will find a lot of uh, animations that are done in pencil on YouTube. Uh, you can go ahead and look up pencil animation on YouTube, and you'll see a lot of cool examples of the kind of stuff you can do. Uh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna finish going over these tools. So we got our our polyline uh, as you sh uh, poly poly shapes really that you, you can make shapes out of uh, uh, our eraser uh, clear page. Which uh, it just basically just take, gives you a brand new page. Uh, see, okay, and I, I probably should have used that so the eraser earlier. Uh, yeah, uh, and this is our, our pick color, which is uh, if you watch my Inkscape tutorial, it's pretty much the same thing. Um, we can, I, I believe. Okay, so let's try that. Uh, well, that that was not a good example. Uh, let's use blue real quick and make. Yeah. Okay, and then. Uh, maybe, again, I haven't used this a whole bunch, but I'm going to see if this works. Okay, um, so, uh, the pick color, it doesn't do exactly what, uh, uh and don't ignore the selection, because it doesn't do what it does in Inkscape. Uh, basically what it does is you can import, uh, a picture, and let's say it doesn't, th these are basic colors, as you can tell. It, you have your, your, your main colors, and then you have different variations of, like, your blue, gray, uh, dark, uh, and skin colors, uh, which is actually really cool uh, because these will go a long way as far as animation uh, uh, colors. But uh, let's say you have an image or something, and you want to you want to get that color. All you do, as you can tell, it's changing colors. Uh, it's going black there, which uh, I don't know why. Uh, see, it changed it black over here too. Um, but it, it'll it'll pick whatever color that you land on, put it in there, so you can use it on your pencil on there. And I'm pretty sure you can save it uh, over here, uh, but one thing I've noticed when you, you do save colors is it takes away another one of your colors uh, and it keeps the label of it, uh, that color, uh, just it changes the color. So it's a little weird, but, um, oh wait, no, let's see, um, see I just, I'm going to add this weird purple color is the first thing I clicked on, um, so I added that, okay, and let's see what it did, uh, because I was on blue, blue's still there, and I don't, See, okay, yeah, it's on our color 24. Okay, so uh, this is a little different than I remember. Uh, you actually can't add uh, customized colors, uh, such as using the the uh, drop uh, the the pick color tool, uh, which is called a dropper in uh, Inkscape. Sorry, uh, and uh, of course, as you can see, this is your selection tool. So we can select this. Oh, oh, okay. Let me select it again. I'm using a touchpad, so double clicking and stuff. Okay, so that's not cool. Oh, now you want to work. There we go. And then uh, that moves us to our move tool. Okay. What, what is that? Modify curves. Um, let's try that with the polygon tool real quick. Come on. My double clicking uh, doesn't work very well on my touchpad, obviously. 
as you can tell, give me a lot of troubles. Um, okay. Well. Select it. Let me see if that does anything. Okay, well, it's still not modifying curves, but like, you, like it seems like it would um, based on the name. Uh, yeah. So there we go. That moves the selection. What's that called on here? Uh, select move object. Okay. And this is actually for your canvas itself. See, it's moving the entire thing around, uh, which is cool. Because, and I'll show you why here in a second. Um, yeah, okay, so we went over the colors, we went over the size of the feather. Uh, let's look right here. Size oh, with pressure. Now, I don't think this works on a touchpad, and it doesn't appear to. I don't know why it's changing that paint. Um, but if you have a graphic tablet, and again, yeah, you'll see more about that later, uh, because I will be using my graphic tablet uh, here later, and I'll show you the size of pressure. This is a good and a bad thing. Um, for more dynamic animation, uh, where you're putting a lot of details into things. Uh, size by pressure is awesome uh, because it, it, it adds to that detail as far as uh, just by uh, the amount of pressure you put on your uh, pen on your tablet. Um, yeah, uh, and preserve alpha. That is like, as far as I know, that's pretty weird. Uh, if I remember correctly, alpha is another word for transparency. But I don't know what that's doing here. Again, this is a freeware program, uh, which means it's made by somebody or a group of people. And uh, I'm sure they put their heart into it, but it just doesn't uh, it doesn't add up to uh, paid programs like most freeware doesn't. Uh, however, just like with Inkscape, I'm sure you're going to pay uh, six... $600 uh, around that area for a professional grade 2D uh, application but uh, and if you if you if you're an experienced 2D uh, animator that's probably what's best for you because chances are if you're an experienced 2D animator uh, you're making your money back doing that however if you're just looking for something to make small projects uh, maybe something for school uh, and, or uh, something for your YouTube channel or something like that uh, this is this is where you want to go uh, because uh, this will, uh, it's for one, it's free, and uh, it, it does quite a bit uh, for you know being uh, free. So uh, I'm gonna clear the page on here real quick and uh, get rid of that selection if it's possible. Yep. Yeah, okay. All right. So uh, and what else? Uh, stop at colors uh, invisible. Okay. I don't know too much about those uh, because I've never used them. Because again, I, I oh, and this is a color adjuster. See. Um, and and it, there's there's a lot of ways to find colors on here. Just like going there, uh, adjusting the colors. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, I've I've really only used this uh, stop motion is the word I was looking for for more like stop motion. Except for I wasn't using real pictures. I was using pictures that I drew on Inkscape and uh, moving the uh, objects one by one. As you can see with that spaceship uh, in the video I showed you, uh, and it and then I import them on here. Uh, and the way I did that, uh, it, I wonder if I don't. Let me see what, how much time I'm at right now because I don't want to make these uh, this too long. I've been trying really hard to keep my tutorials uh, a little shorter. Um, I'm at okay, so I'm over ten minutes. I'm gonna uh oh, um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, stop this. In the next one, I'm gonna go over the keyframes uh, as well as the, uh, the the camera views. So uh, if you'll just join me over there, I'll give you a little bit more insight to this program.